My name is Emotep Gary Bird. As most of you know, I'm the host of uh, WBLS's Express Yourself and, of course, the GBE Mind Flight on 1190 AM WLIB. I'm here tonight as a follow-up uh, with our conversation with Brother Lloyd Williams, the President and CEO of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. Lloyd appeared on our broadcast, as some of you know, about a week or so ago and talked about $100 billion that was coming into the New York City area over the course of the 2014-2013 uh, season that we have to be ready for as a community. Lloyd appeared on our broadcast, as some of you know, about a week or so ago, and talked about a hundred billion dollars that was coming into the New York City area over the course of the 2014-2013 uh, season that we have to be ready for as a community. Of course, this is money that is coming through the Super Bowl and the dynamics that will take place with the economic uh, growth that will happen in New York City and New Jersey as a result of what happens when these particular events come through. So we have a great and unique opportunity, which Lloyd talked about on the air, and I, I think when he mentioned it, Volza Rivers and myself, when he said a hundred billion dollars, we kind of looked like, what? Did he make a mistake? Is it? But it was real. It's a hundred billion dollars. And so tonight at this particular event at the New York City uh, Marriott, we're having an opportunity to understand how that money relates to opportunities for our brothers and sisters uh, in their various businesses and their various potentials for being able to supply uh, employment and certainly higher numbers in our community related to the dynamics of the economics that we're experiencing right now. It's a very unique position to suddenly go almost from a uh, famine to feast, if you hear it, as, as opposed to like feast to famine. We're going from literally famine to feast, potentially, if we can be ahead of the game and take advantage of what's happening here. But inside of the event this evening, I think what came through in a very um, powerful way was the recognition of the relationship between arts, culture, economics, and politics. Uh, sometimes we can tend to see these things as kind of separate universes, but I think uh, Brother Lloyd and I think everyone who spoke, Voza, and all of the various individuals who were a part of the event tonight were able to let us see the matrix of these particular dimensions and how they relate to us as a community. One of the highlights uh, I think that took place this evening was when Lloyd was making the point that on the one level, although we have to be prepared to take advantage of the tourism aspects, and certainly New York City is an amazing, amazing uh, 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 platform for the tourism industry, and that certainly includes us in Harlem specifically, but Lloyd made it a point to actually help us understand that when you take Harlem, as a destination, which is a primary sort of a strategy, marketing strategy at the uh, tourism level. But you also have to understand the other 600,000 or so residents who are there in Harlem who constitute the sustainable part of that equation. It's one thing to take advantage of the event marketing that something like the Super Bowl will provide over the course of not just the event itself that, that weekend, but the year, but also to recognize that the sustainable tourism for our institutions like uh, the Apollo and the Schomburg and all the various restaurants and so forth is coming from the public that's right there in Harlem, USA. It's an amazing, amazing event that I think lifted our consciousness to the power of arts and culture and back to what Adam Clayton Powell always said, what's in your hands. For those of you who'd like to tap into what we do inside of Radio GBE, we start first of all with 107.5 WBLS. Our Express Yourself broadcast is heard from 6 to 8 p.m every Sunday night. Again, that's Imhotep Gary Bird's Express Yourself, 6 to 8 p.m. It is followed by the GBE Mind Flight, Gateway to the Black Experience on WLIB 1190 from 8 until midnight. So the entire broadcast is a six hour broadcast on Sunday evening. For those of you who are moving through on Saturdays, you can check us out from 5 to 7 p.m. on WBAI. That's with Imhotep Gary Bird's Radio GBE, Two programs occur in that sphere, the Global Black Experience and the Global Beat Experience. The Global Beat Experience is our program where we do the message and the music. The Global Black Experience is our program that deals with politics, issues, and news in New York. So that's Saturday and Sunday, and of course every Thursday in the New York Amsterdam News of the Motep's Guide to Black Events every week.